Okay, I'm back. But just for a short while, unfortunately. Um, I haven't been able to go home. Uh, and I'll get back to that later. But how are you guys doing? I know it's been like, what, like four months or three months. And for those of you outside the loop, you know, I understand. Um, I've, if you didn't know, I've been away since early January. Why have I been away since early January? It's because my dad um, unfortunately passed away on January 4th um due to complications from covid um so he died in uh nigeria um and so it was it was tough i wanted to make like a a like an update video and stuff but i just ended up not doing it but but what i did was i like typed out the updates on like the latest uh video the latest shameless video of of um my on my channel sorry and then like i pinned it to i pinned it to the top of the comments so whoever like was lucky enough to get to that episode would see it i know it was it was like i think it was an inefficient way to explain things because i i i i, I actually saw a lot of comments where people were like what's going on like you've been <laughs> you've been missing for like three months um but yeah I, I, I think that was the best i could do at the time um and for every single one of you who um you know sent your condolences like i i appreciate you guys man you guys have no idea like because before i i um took this break you know um i oh i i, I developed the habit of like always checking uh youtube studio like the app just to see you know to to read comments i think i have to i have to i i, I might have to um you know cut back on doing that because i used to do it a lot back in the day um but i still kept up the habits i don't know why honestly because i wasn't posting any videos but from time to time like i would always see um like new comments and stuff and they were actually quite nice you know i did not expect to get to all the comments i did or all the comments i got and funny enough I found out like because when I decided to take the break, I, I was like, oh, my channel has just died, you know, uh, but funny enough, like I got like 400 more subs and it's just, I don't know. I'm still so confused about how th this whole thing works. I, I, I guess it's not all black and white the way I thought it was. Um, but yeah, I'm now at like, we were now at like 1,500 subs. That, that might not be a lot to some people, but trust me, like it's mind blowing. Um, and it only makes you wonder, like, I mean, what would have happened if I, like, kept up with it, you know, if the unfortunate events didn't happen and stuff. But that's, by the way, you know. Um, yeah, so the reason I said um, I'm only back for a short while is because my dad hasn't been buried yet because, um, I mean, first off, I'm still in school. Like, the semester is still ongoing for me. And, you know, I, I guess, like, Although my father died and it's important to um, bury him, you know, the right way. Um, we were all of the, like, we were all of the opinion, like we as in my family, we were all of the opinion that, um, you know, the least I could do was like, um, and not just me, even my older brother as well. He's also in Canada. Um, we, we just wanted to, you know, finish this semester properly before um, going home because I'm sure that's what he would want. He was all about um you know he he was all about getting us to like graduate and like get a better life here you know uh, for ourselves and stuff so uh we you know that's just what i've been doing so i've just i've been in school um and trust me it was tough like there's there was a lot going on you know and um these things like this they they force you to like grow up and stuff um but yeah we move like that's 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 just all life you know that's life and i'm sure there's um there's people who have lost both parents you know so um yeah like and, and there's also people who have been in my same situation and they're okay you know so i mean knowing all of these things and also with the support you guys have um, um kindly given me like over the past couple months you know it really helped me um get over it and I, I, I kid you not, the first day I got the news, man, like, I, I hadn't wept like that in ages. Like, I, I almost felt like a stranger to myself. It's like, I, I hadn't, um, 
ever had an outburst like that. I mean, I'm mo most of the time here, I am like alone um, by myself. And like, that's by design. Like, that's something I chose. I, I don't know. I just choose to be alone, right? I just live in this tiny attic and I'm always upstairs all the time in this house and stuff. So, um, you know, there's rarely ever a, a chance, like a, a moment where I have to cry or weep the way I did that like it was bad it was I don't want to say it was bad but it was it was so like I I, I, I don't know if I said I was just like a stranger to myself man like I'm like is this me like I like am I crying like this you know and it didn't just end it like um I woke up in the middle of the night and then I also had to like weep again and stuff but it was tough I kid you not it was tough um but yeah, after the first day, you know, I, I I started like coming to terms with it. And one thing I've learned, I'm sure like everyone who has lost a, a parent that is dear to them, like will understand what I'm saying. Um, but, you know, all the memories you had with them, like they come back in waves, you know, like there's the, you can just be sitting down and like, you know, you just remember the person you lost, like, and it, it comes like in waves and stuff like so. I don't know every depending on how your relationship was it would come like every one hour or something you know where you would just be doing something so random you could be cooking and then you just remember you're like oh my dad like my dad and yeah but that's by the way though yeah so that that explains everything um well i haven't fin i don't think i finished saying everything um yeah there's still so that's why we haven't buried my dad yet um i'm sorry for going all over the place um so what's happening now is uh i'm i'm gonna fly back to nigeria in may i think early may um and then hopefully we have the burial then you know safely of course because there's a pandemic going on and then um, hopefully i'm able to come back like in june or something um but whatever the case may be i um yeah you know a, a part of me was saying maybe i just hold off on on like returning until after i've come back from the burial but you know i've just been lying around doing nothing and it's like and i've i've been feeling uncomfortable about it like for the past couple of weeks so i'm like i might as well just get back to um doing something that interests me you know as, as opposed to like lying around reading mangas and like novels and stuff um so yeah i'm back um uh, and yeah like it's it's been a while like it's started to st I, I decided to um come back with shameless you know because um I, I mean what it's the it's the most popular series i'm reacting to right now um and you know Better Call Saul is nice, um, every other thing is nice, but I just wanted to start in familiar territory before I um, begin to get my groove again, because uh, this, this all feels so new, you know, in a way, because I've been gone for a while, and so I've lost that, um, you know, productive zone I was in, I have to get back into it. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're on, episode, we're on season 3, episode 11, I, it's, I, I'm very, I, like, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to come back and, like, get to season 4, I'm, once again, like, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, it's, they, these things, they, they're out of my control, if, if nothing ever happened, I'm, I'll probably be on, like, season 5 by now, um, but yeah, that's all, by the way, I'm back, um, this episode is titled, Order Room Service. And forgive me, I don't really remember what happened in the last episode. I mean, obviously, I haven't watched, like, anything in, like, three months. So, um, forgive me if I don't remember anything. But I remember all the characters, you know. And I'm sure I'll pick up what has been going on uh, as the episode progresses. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I hopefully I have fun with this, you know. Uh, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode as well. So, without wasting any more time, because I've spoken all over the place for like 10 minutes now. Um, let's get to the reaction. Okay, I've already, I, I, as I've seen Steve, oh, Jesus. I remember he's, he, he plans to, to, you know, go finish school. 
that this doctor thing if i remember correctly he's using it as like he wants to be a doctor but i think he's using it as a front this bitch Morning. yeah lip okay i remember that lip found out that uh mandy bashed <laughs> bashed karen to heaven and he does not, i guess he does not know how to deal with her yet can't stop thinking about the wedding yep okay i remember that as well mickey is getting married no you know what i promised i'd go to sheila's no, Karen's getting home tonight. Could help us out. Uh, <laughs> I don't get why Jody and Sheila can't set up Karen's ship by themselves. I was wondering if you knew of any positions opening up in your Michigan office. <sighs> My boyfriend might be going to med school at U of M. We're not sure yet. Wow. It'll be sad to see you go. Me too. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know if you're busy this weekend, but my family has a cabin. It's like half an hour. Uh -huh. Sounds good. Uh, my brothers might have a wedding, but I'll check with the rest of the gang. Yeah, cool. Let me know. Okay. I'm just putting together some baby stuff way prematurely. <laughs> oh my god, that's another thing. Oh, Veronica's yeah. mom actually got uh, pregnant. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Why is Mandy going a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Yeah, I think she ran over Karen with her car. What? <laughs> You need to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Tell me how. Very. Yeah, you can't. He, if he, she will kill him. I'm like Mickey's. Right, not Mickey. Mandy will kill him. So Svetlana, she like uh. She's quiet. She's skinny, which is weird because he usually bags fat chicks. I don't know how Mandy has not figured this out. Stay with us. I found a couple four and five bedroom houses online today, cheaper than Chicago. Jimmy's not here right now. Can I take a message? Oh my god. Oh wow, where is it? How many bathrooms? A studio. Uh <laughs> I will pass it on. <laughs> Seriously, this is how she finds out. She's definitely going to rebound on that guy at work. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to last long. Are you happy to be home? Yes. I this place is nice. I remember. God damn, Mandy. Mandy has turned this chick into Frankenstein, bro. <laughs> I, that episode still gives me goosebumps. That moment. Dr. Ron, say about this? She still has most of her old memories. She oh my god. She can't form any new memories. Yeah, could be permanent, but I say we keep hope alive. I got family down in Sedona. They have healing vortexes out oh there. Oh my god. Guy, guy, just, just shut, 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 shut your mouth right now. You got a weird phone call. From who? Some lady from a, from a rental place? She said your credit's been approved. You can sign your contract on your studio whenever you want. I guess I didn't think it through. What, have you signed up for classes already? Technically, I'm enrolled, but it's complicated because of my deferral. Hey! Now might be a good time for a little breakout. Uh, yeah. You made the decision? Without me, go find another fucking place to sleep a fucking studio! Well, at least he got it off his chest. Rise and shine, we're going camping. I belong here with me, not with that fucking vegetable. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. I don't know what that was. I don't know if they actually had sex. I don't... Hey man, thanks for letting me crash. Hey, uh, Kev, it's Lip. Um... Look, I fucked up. I am. Wait, 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 that's that tiny thing that happened was like they had sex. I'll give you a ride. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, wow, when did you get here? I'm ravenous. We go eat. I'm ravenous. Who says that? Why don't you say I'm hungry, my guy? Don't do this. I'm not surprised. Let's hope his dad doesn't catch them again because Ian would really die. Mr. Ravenous. I think I'll start, I might add that to my vocabulary. <laughs> I'm Ravenous. Who says that, man? And when was it the last time you see my daughter? I saw her three hours ago. An INS holding. Uh oh my god. I suppose you're not aware she's being deported. Oh, you're getting killed. I asked so little of you, Steve. It will be dealt with. <laughs> wow oh my god these people should just kiss and let's skip this rubbish let's get this rebound story on the road finally i had to get you pissed off more often so what are we gonna do we're gonna tell everyone to leave i'll go get this shit over with and then you can wait here for me you're not serious. <laughs> well, well, I, I, I don't know. So Ian thought, like, how naive could can this guy be? 
he thought after they had sex like um you know mickey is going to be on this high go inside the wedding bash the wedding escape and he would stay alive that's what he thought like like he had really thought that's how this was going to play out obviously not like come on everybody watching this episode knew after they had sex this mickey was still going to go marry this russian chick there's no way he's going to get pistol whipped again he's tired of that life your dad it's an evil psychotic prick you're just gonna let him ruin your you life grow the fuck up not everybody just gets to blurt out how they fucking feel every minute Wow. You just get here? <sighs> yeah. Dumb as always. You know you this chick, I can't believe she hasn't figured this out. Nah, Mickey's dad is an asshole. <laughs> I'll be sorry. We got carried away, alright? These things happen. I don't know what I'm doing. You're using me for revenge. I'm so happy this guy is smart. I do not mind. Just because someone dumps on you does not mean you deserve it. Tell me that when someone's dumping on you. Eve? It's my wife. Ex-wife. When did you know when it was over? When she started going to the gym every day. <sighs> you? Listen, I, I know that but I will fix it. Just tell me what I can do. Run, run drugs, steal cars. You know, my dad has mentioned to the government. He's powerful, man. They support immigration. Oh, God. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do in this situation. Oh, my God. They're going on the yacht. You don't need to install the motion light because Jody is taking Karen and Jaime to Sedona to live near the vortexes, so... It's fine. They're what are these vortexes? Wait, somebody explain. I thought I thought Jody was talking some bullshit when he said Sedona dot 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 vortexes. What is all that? Mandy did this, okay? Mandy hit you with the car and fucked you up forever. Do you understand me? Yes. Do you know who hit you? No. Oh my God, he's unhinged. Mandy, you ruined Karen's life. You're a jealous, demented cunt! You did it. Got married to a woman. You try sitting on your ass with the person you love. No, I'm sorry. I mean the guy you've been fucking gets married to some random commie skank. Deep breath. Guy, I mean, I like the advices you've been given since. Well, what does he mean by deep breaths? Like, that is going to help me survive getting drowned. I mean, I don't think he's going to die, but I don't know what's going to happen. Don't tell me they're about to kill this guy off. <laughs> I love you. Call me. Whoa, 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 Come on, shameless. Are you stupid? You're not going to... L let me see if there's another episode. Is there an episode? Okay, there's an episode 12. I see. Well, well played. Well played. <laughs> you just show Steve walking on a boat. You switch to um, Fiona at the camp. End the episode. Well played. Okay. Uh, anyway, all in all, I think I've remembered most of what I've forgotten. Uh, and I'm not surprised. I knew like if I just watched one episode, I would remember most of most of what was going on. But yeah, it's good to be back, man. It's 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 good to be back. But yeah, okay. So back to Shameless. Back to this episode. I'm happy. Ma Mandy is Mandy and Lip are done. Like they are clearly done. I'm surprised. I mean, I know um, Mandy really hit Karen hard, but I didn't think it was like to the point where she lost her past basically like she lost her past and her future in a sense because she can't make new memories like what what is that i know I, like from what karen has done right i don't know if it's if she deserves this level of of like misfortune but i i i, I actually feel bad for like what she turned into like i would have been okay if car just hit her hard and like she went she was she had to be in the hospital for a few weeks and then she came out you know that would have 
taught her a lesson. But with this now, it's like, you know, I, I guess, um, fortunately, Mandy crossed the line big time. Um, and you can clearly see Lip, Lip has feelings for um, Karen. Like, you can clearly see it. And it's unfortunate. The thing is, Mandy would have actually won Lip over if, uh, if, she, if she didn't, if she didn't, uh, you know, turn karen into a vegetable the way she did like i think if she if she hits karen and she was just you know there was just a fortunate series of events and karen all karen came came out of that accident with was like a concussion or something but i mean which is highly unlikely from the impact we saw i mean we remember that impact um then i i believe she would have somehow managed to keep keep uh the relationship going but you know these things do like unfortunate things happen to a lot of people i know and and sadly it happened it, it, it happened to um mandy this time like she was just unlucky um and loki she actually did deserve like she she's crazy man like she's 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 just nuts um i think lip is better off just finding someone entirely new okay like that is not karen or mandy like you should just you should just go find somebody that has there as as little crazy as possible you know steve because of how these guys in this episode now nah, i don't i'm supposed to like guess that he wh whether he dies or not i don't think he's going to die I, I don't know how he's going to survive but i just don't think he's going to die the, the thing is um I, I feel like with the way they ended it, I'm sure he's not going to die. But I'll, I'll laugh my heart out if he actually does die. Because you, like, I don't know, it just feels off for him to die, like, for, for, for us to be left in this cliffhanger. And then, with, without knowing if he dies or not, and then, like, he just gets killed in the next episode. I mean, it would have been better if they just killed him at the end of this episode. I mean, I think, I don't know why, but something just feels standard about that like that's the right way to do it as opposed to just leaving this cliffhanger and then like you still end up killing the guy in the next episode if you get what i mean so so i i just don't think he's going to die um but as for fiona yeah i feel i feel bad for her i don't know how they're going to i don't know if they should work it out really because honestly i think steve steve wants to like just distance himself from like fiona and go find something else like i the family life is just not for steve i think from from how i understand this character i just don't think like settling down having a family is like he's that type of person uh but don't get me wrong i mean people change it's just i i steve you know you guys know what i'm saying um but yeah so far i think that's everything i want to talk about let me know your thoughts in, in, on this episode in the comments down below and if you're new subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves have a fantastic day